Monaco had won their opening two league games of the season and Claudio Ranieri's League 2 champions entertained Toulouse in the opening match of week three. Behind closed doors this one at the Stade Louis de Monaco uh, serving a ban, a stadium ban after incidents marred uh, the end of the final home game of last season when they sealed promotion back to the top flight after a two-year absence. Here against Toulouse, it was a stubborn visiting defence looking to uh, prevent Monaco from finding a way through the Monaco attack led by Radamel Falcao, but also Emmanuel Riviere, the man who netted a hat-trick against Montpellier in a 4-1 win last weekend and was looking to find his uh, way through again against his former club, Toulouse, here, but denied by Ali Ahmada in the early stages. Monaco were very much on top in the first half. Ahmada saving from Fabinho and then somehow Yannick Ferreira Carrasco hitting the uh, loose ball over the bar. No way through in the early stages for the club from the Principality. Toulouse, uh, in contrast, didn't offer too much going forward. Toulouse featuring uh, new loan signing, Clément Chantôme, brought in this week from uh, Paris Saint-Germain and also the Danish striker Martin Braithwaite who partnered with Sam Ben Yedder up front. Those two combining to set up this chance for another summer signing. Oscar Trejo's effort uh, taking a slight deflection on its way past the post. That not far away from beating Daniel Subasic in the Monaco goal. But most of the chances in the first half at the other end of the field. Fabinho, the on-loan Brazilian, featuring heavily. His shot uh, comfortably saved by Ali Ahmada in goal. But not an easy start to the day for Falcao and uh, Monaco. No goals in the first half at the Stade Louis II. And much the same story in the second half. James Rodriguez, fit again, was brought off the bench. But his free kick cleared by the Toulouse defence. And the visitors might even have nicked a goal themselves with a better ball through to the skipper Etienne Dido on that occasion. Subasic able to come and claim. Ahmada using the uh, rather unorthodox uh, way of getting rid of the ball. In the end, the closest Monaco came to scoring was from this Jérémy Toulalon effort from distance. He never scores Toulalon. The France midfielder crashing that one off the bar. Still nil-nil. That coming with uh, less than four minutes of this game remaining. It wasn't to be their night. They remain unbeaten at the start of this season and they have to go to Marseille next weekend. They're looking pretty solid, but no way through Toulouse on Friday night. Bravo. 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 Bravo.